it just so happens that Classic Game Room has a soft spot in our cold mechanical heart for the Atari 7800 Pro System because this is a game console that I grew up with, that I owned, that very few other people did around me. And I felt that I was privileged to play games like Xevious and Pole Position 2 while everybody else was busy playing Super Mario Brothers and Top Gun. Well, eventually I got an NES and I like that game console a lot too, but there's just something special about the Atari 7800 and I'm very fortunate to have a nice collection of games including a number of boxes in pristine condition. Let's take a look at the cartridge design for many of these 7800 games including the ones that rattle like Pole Position 2. There are a couple variations of Atari 7800 cartridge designs. For the most part, at least the ones that I have, they all look exactly like the Atari 2600 cartridges. Exact same size, same style, same textured background. The opening on the back of the 7800 carts seems to be open on all the ones that I have. And most noticeably, I think you'll find that a lot of them come in this silver and uh, black screen printed on silver design. So it's like black and white. You don't get a lot of color on many of the Atari 7800 games. See that here with Dig Dug as well. There were a number of Atari 7800 games that came out with a color label and you got a red 7800. Some of them even said super game cartridge like uh, this one which really wasn't all that super. But Ball Blazer certainly was. That's a great game. A couple other Atari 7800 games like Mario Brothers came out with a color color logo, color label here, but uh, a black and white or a black Atari 7800 up top. And let's take a look at another one here I have. Hat Trick, Super Game Cartridge, color 7800, and a red hat trick on the bottom. Now one of uh, the ones I have here that rattles, I don't know why, it always has still plays just fine. That's the great thing about Atari games. Even if they rattle, they still play. If a CD rattles, it won't work. Sadly, there weren't as many Atari 7800 games as there were Atari 2600 games. In fact, there's not very many Atari 7800 games to collect. And they came in these really nice boxes. And if you remember getting Atari games, I mentioned this during the Action Ops review. They just had a nice textured feel to them. And there's just something special about opening up the box and packaging for an Atari game. Probably because it's so different today when you have those cases, the plastic cases for DVDs. Let's open up Joust here and take a look at what an Atari 7800 game would come with. There's your game cartridge, the Joust black and white cartridge variation. Excellent game. One good thing about the Atari 7800 Pro System is that it came with a tremendous array of arcade titles like Joust, Galaga, and Dig Dug. Put that down. Take a look on the inside here. That's how they would uh, see in there. They give you a little slot for the cartridge, and then they would pack the uh, materials in behind it. All right. Well, sadly, I think we're out of the 90-day warranty period. For computer product, cassette, cartridges, or diskettes showing its age. Maybe you can write to them and they're still there, I don't know. Probably not though. Alright, instructional book. Here we go. Joust, game manual. Not like we need this because we all know how to play Joust, right? Alright, open that up. Nice little 1980s style in there. Knights on Birdback. This game's got bugs. Normally you'd run away from that, but not when it's centipede. Then you want to open it and take this game out and play it as quickly as possible because it's a great game. Centipede. And we'll take a look in here. This game also is out of warranty. Instructional book. This one's a little bit longer than the other one. Zap that pest. Nothing groundbreaking here, but definitely a unique style and a collectible item here with these Atari 7800 games. 
This particular game is new because it says so right there. There's Jumpman, aka Mario, Donkey Kong, stealing chicks and running off with them. Atari 7800. I like, I like this game cartridge. For one thing, it says "Monkey Business on the Monkey Bars," which is cheesy, and I like that. Pull this game out, you get a full color game, Donkey Kong, and a nice game cartridge at that. Copyright 1981, 1983 Nintendo of America, 1988 Atari. Nintendo games on Atari. Wouldn't that be cool to see today? It's dangerous. It's devious. It's Zevious. One of the best games ever made from Namco for the Atari 7800 Zevious. I like this one a lot. Beautiful packaging artwork here on Galaga. And of course, Galaga is an excellent game. They give you a black and white cartridge variation for this one. You know what that ship reminds me of? If you'd put R2-D2 right there, it looks just like a snowspeeder from The Empire Strikes Back. This is Asteroids here for the Atari 7800. As I've said numerous times, the Atari 7800 Pro System is an excellent game console to add to your collection. It plays Atari 7800 games and Atari 2600 games. The Atari 7800 games had better graphics than the Atari 2600 games. The games are exactly the same size as the Atari 2600 games and you can stack them and keep them all on the same shelves and they line up quite nicely. And that's the Atari 7800 Pro System game cartridge design. I like the messages that they would give you on the back of the Atari 7800 boxes for each game here on Galaga. Blast them. Not there to make friends with them. They've simplified the plot of Dig Dug down to three words. And Joust down to one word. Touché. They're about to land some serious bird ass on someone's head. You look at the size of an Atari 7800 game cartridge. It's tiny compared to a Nintendo Entertainment System game cartridge. Look at that. That's huge. Now, both of these game cartridges completely dwarf this dog treat that I'm holding in my hand. But these play better on the game systems.